Hey Foresters, I just wanted to show you my new play toy. <laughs> I've been wanting one of these for a while for cleaning up the fence line so I don't have to put pesticides or anything like that on there. And I got a blue torch. <laughs> um, this is like a weed burner torch. It comes with these nifty little gloves so you don't burn yourself. Mm -hmm. It comes with a couple wrenches for putting this together. You just it comes apart where the hose and the, the actual handle is uh, isn't attached. You just uh, you know use the wrenches to attach it together, and then this goes into a bottle tank. Now, what's a bottle tank? Propane bottle tank. Okay. I have already tried it out. I like it. <laughs> This thing is fun. It really brings the uh, the Cro-Magnum uh, uh, caveman out of you. Fire! 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 Or, no, wait a minute. That's Beavis and Butthead, isn't it? <laughs> but, yeah, this is really fun. This is going to uh, help us a lot on the homestead. Um, so... Uh, now, what's that thing? This is the igniter. That's the igniter, okay. And what do you have down here? We have the valve for adjusting the flame. Mm -hmm. And then this makes it go um, higher. This is like nitrous. Ah. It's not nitrous, but it, it, it allows the oxygen to flow in and it really, it really heats the flame up. If you look inside there, See the spark? Yeah. All right. So. We're going to go. We're going to go, go. Play with fire? Play with fire. <laughs> I'll have to have the hose. <laughs> this is on the outside and like I said we just did the fence line but hopefully this will get rid of the weeds a little bit better all the way to where the corner is where the banana trees start we stopped right there because uh, we're not too worried about that 
just yet. So this is the front side. All right, and here's the inside. And I wetted everything down just to make sure, because uh, we don't want nothing to, you know, we don't want to start any fires. And we did it all the way down the front here. And then all the way to the corner. So we're just going to let the rest of this die off and then we'll just pick it off the fence later. That's our pink crepe myrtle. So if this works great, we'll have a new way of doing everything. All right, foresters. Uh, I'll do a quick, uh, not review, but just tell you my experience with it. You got to be careful. The cord kind of wants to uh, twist up on you a little bit if you're not careful. Um, it burns really well. I really, you know, it, it really does a good job. It burnt weeds down the fence line really well. Um, it is hot. You want to wear your gloves. There's a lot of heat. Um, you probably want to start doing this early spring so that you're not burning as much as I did at a time. And uh, probably want to stick to, to it first thing in the morning. You don't want to be out here in the hot sun, especially in the south, burning your fence lines. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's my thought on this. There's links in the description from where we got this on Amazon. We ran out of propane? Nope, we still have some, it's, ah. but it is low. Okay. I'm just taking it apart, making sure the valve's closed. I don't want stuff hitting it and messing it up. Right. So we'll let this cool down a bit more before we put it up. Yeah, this tank is pretty low. Okay. Okay, foresters. Um, here's something else we picked up from uh, Amazon, and it is the Sunjo 16-inch 13.5 uh, amp tiller. It has 16-inch tines. And you can see I've already gave it a, a quick spin test to see what it does. Um, it's surprisingly powerful for its size. Um, the reason we went with an electric one is because I wanted something lightweight, something easy to use. It's, uh, it's going to be small enough and easy for even, you know, for Amy to use it or for me to use it. It's, re it's relatively strong. And uh, I think this will work for us. We don't do a lot of tilling, but we do do a little bit of tilling. We're not completely no-till, but we are mostly no-till. So this should do everything that we need to do. Um, I don't really think we need a huge rototiller here in Florida. We are, got our sandy soil. We're not a lot of, a lot of rocks or uh, hard clay. So this should be more than powerful enough for what we need. This would be, you know, if you're living up north and you want something to weed in between rows, this would probably be good for you, even in clay soil. But if you're doing deep uh, tilling, this is probably not going to do it for you up north where you might have some rocks or hard packed clay. That's a big up. potato. Holy cow. There's one there, one there, one here. There's more there. Okay. Uh, you want to take a second and pick potatoes? <laughs> I'll let you pick them up uh, as I go. Okay. Hold on.
All right, there's some of the potatoes we found while tilling. This one is just a monster. And then we saved a cranberry hibiscus. All right, so. There you got most of it out, huh? Yeah. What is that, all potato vines? Yeah. You know, for that being that clawed up, it still worked great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm pretty much amazed by it. This thing's got excess power for what it is. Well, that's good. That means then at least um, if it gets clawed, it's not like going to automatically stop on you. Right. I mean, I'm sure if it got worse than that, it would. Yeah, will you hand me the hurry, hurry? You mean a hurry, hurry? Whatever it is. You call it a hurry, hurry? Is that what I call it? Yeah. <laughs> so you're, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> well, that thing does come in handy, doesn't it? Yep. All right, well, we'll clean it out and then uh, we'll show it in. We just got a little bit more to go. A big old bumblebee just showed up. Wait a minute. He's got another bee in his mouth. There's another bee in that. Okay, so while Donald's cleaning that out, um, as the potatoes came up, we collected, but this is what it's done so far, and this is working beyond our expectations. And we're going to be planting here a little bit, so you see where he's burnt. And then the tilling. Now we'll have to hand pick this guy because this is one of our favorite plants. Oh, it did get burnt, honey. Yeah. yeah. The back side did. The front side looks okay, so we may have to baby it. I'm not going to pull it out of the ground because it's already in shock. So I'll uh, I'll pull these weeds out and give it you know a fighting chance here. All right, cleaned it up. Looks like we got two branches coming out. It does look like the back side, even though I pulled the the plant back when Donald was uh, using the fire torch. It did torch it up here. Looks good. So we're just going to make sure it's got uh, enough water and hopefully it, it should come back or it doesn't look like any of the bark got burned. It was just the leaves. Hey guys. All right. Uh, we took a break. It's now about three in the afternoon. Uh, Donald got a little bit of heat exhaustion. Um, even though we uh, drank Propel and kept with the fluids and everything, he still got overheated. So when we see signs of overheating, we definitely stop and take a long break. Um, I came back out here to clean up. Um, we have now hit into the rainy season, so we do have those uh, afternoon storms. They come in anywhere from 3 to like 7 uh, in the afternoon. Uh, sun sets about 8.30, so <laughs> it's a long day. But I'm going to turn you around and show you just after a couple of hours. I did come out here and I did uh, weed along the fence line. 
uh, to clean it up a little bit and I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I found. Bucket load of potatoes. I'm going to get them kind of cleaned up and we're gonna use them for cooking. And then, as you can tell, um, I too take care of making sure I'm not in the heat too much, but I did weed the bigger stuff along the, uh, uh, along the edge here and then all along the fence line, all the way to the corner there, um, I weeded and then I found over here in the ditch, which I'm going to try and get later today, is another uh, cranberry hibiscus. So I'm going to rescue that one before the county comes because the county mows the ditches. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get that little itty bitty cranberry hibiscus, which let me zoom in on it, is right there. So I'm going to rescue that. And really that's, that's all I'm going to do right now. Um, I do have my basket, my big basket. And I'm going to go ahead and collect some green beans because they are producing now, which I love it. So far, everything's doing good. We just have to be mindful with the, uh, with the heat now. It's that time of year where we can only do things first thing in the morning or late at late in the evening. So yeah, we still got a lot of work to do, but we'll get it done. We always do. All right, I saved it. It actually looked like it was a stick. So it is a super long root system. So I had to bury it over here, um, but it, it's like super long. So I'm glad because it's got lots of roots so it'll take hold really good. So I'm gonna plant it here for a while for the season. Let it do its thing. I'm gonna collect the seeds from it and then we'll dig it up.